Hurricane Matthew left in its wake tens of millions of dollars in damage and huge bills for cities and counties fixing roads and cleaning up debris. Some of those claims have been rejected by FEMA. When Brevard County's $391,000 claim was denied, it sent an appeal to the Florida Division of Emergency Management, which handles appeals. Problem is, it was not filed on time. Two state workers were fired, but now the agency's director reveals at least 26 appeals have not been filed on time, dating as far back as the 04 hurricanes. He says it's a small percentage of total claims and that a forensic audit is underway to determine just how many claims and how much money has not been reimbursed to cities and counties. Democratic Senator Bill Nelson sent a letter to FEMA saying it should not penalize local governments for the state of Florida's failure to submit the appeal. And I'm telling you, they're desperate. They've got a big hole in their budget because FEMA is not reimbursing them the cost that they front loaded to clean up after Hurricane Matthew. And uh, that's not right. And At a medal ceremony honoring veterans in Melbourne, Republican Governor Rick Scott promised a full investigation. I'm going to work to make sure the appeals are heard. You know, they, they are, they've already been turned down once, but we'll work to see if, you know, to make sure FEMA's going to try to um, review them. So far, most of the claims filed after Hurricane Matthew are either still being reviewed by FEMA or have been accepted. In Brevard County, Greg Fox, West 2 News.